Hey there everyone, today's video is going to be a haul video and quite a few of you have been asking for some new haul videos. Excuse the parrots outside, they're getting quite noisy because I think my neighbour is feeding them as she does every day. Anyway, today's video is going to be for an online store called Rose Gal and Rose Gal is kind of like one of those cheap online stores and they approached me to make this video so in full transparency this is a sponsored video. However, as with any review or whatever that I do, these will all be my own opinions. I don't allow companies to sway my opinions and I will be expressing, you know, the good and bad things because ultimately it is your money that um, might end up going to this company or whatever. So let's get straight into it. So I've got a mixture of different things. Uh, one or two homewares things, a few pieces of jewelry and some makeup items, I guess. I'm gonna start off with the makeup items. Firstly, I got a few brush sets. Um, they have a good range of synthetic brushes on their website. So I got, I think three or four different brush sets and I have filmed a video uh, all dedicated to these, which is about, you know, my first impressions about cheap brushes and um, how they perform and stack up against uh, my name brand ones that I used professionally. So that is a completely different video that is coming soon as well. I also got, um, I got two of these. Uh, they are little makeup brush cleanser things, um, kind of like the Sigma oven mitt looking thing that cleans brushes. Um, I don't know where mine's gone and I think I might have left it in Holland. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm glad I got these because I originally was going to get these to see how they stack up against that particular item. And the blue one is um, wet at the moment because I cleaned my face brushes before. So I got a blue and a pink one and they work pretty darn well. And I think they were only like $2.80 US dollars. So affordable and work pretty well. The next item I got is a homewares item. Um, at the moment, they've got a decent range of Halloween stuff on there. I wish I had have got some of it, but I didn't. So I got this mug and my husband absolutely loves this mug because of the skulls on the handle and uh, you know it's been it's been washed a few times i i don't know if it's no it's not suitable for the dishwasher i don't have a dishwasher anyway so that doesn't concern me um but keep in mind if you exclusively use a dishwasher for your dishes um i don't think this is dishwasher safe as it states on the bottom however it is a nice looking mug and yeah my husband loves it. Next up, I got three necklaces that were all the same kind of color scheme and um, it's no longer necklaces. I made it into a belt. Um, I, I had been looking for an ornate waist belt for s quite some time for my plain black dresses to wear with my gold jackets. I'm obsessed with black and gold. So I fashioned this out of three necklaces I got off Rose Gal and I love this darn thing. It is so cool. And yeah, it just took, I think it took me like 20 minutes to, you know, shift around different elements of all three necklaces to get this in the end. And I'm really darn happy with this. I think it looks fabulous. And the necklaces were quite dirt cheap too. Um, I don't tend to wear cheaper necklaces around my neck because um, they do stain greenish, but since that's a waist belt and it will never ever touch my skin, I thought that would be fabulous. I also got an actual waist belt that they had on the website and it's in this, it's silver, and it's um, quite nice looking. It's, it's very, um, it's kind of, it reminds me of belly dancing and it is a little on the big side so I do have to take a couple of these links out. It is supposed to be worn on the hips but um, I tend to wear things on my waist so yeah and I think this was like five to six dollars. I'm not entirely sure. All of this all came up to like a hundred and thirty dollars or something like that so it's very decently priced. Next up is my favorite clothing item that I got from Rose Gal, and this is a plain kind of, it's very plain, but um, very versatile at the same time. It is a plain velvet blouse, and it buttons all the way up to the top, and it's just 
absolutely marvelous. I wore this um, when I was in London. I got quite a few compliments with this. Just, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful top that can be worn in many different ways. My personal favorite way to wear this is, you know, this top with a, um, a high-waisted maxi skirt, a nice jacket, and um, this around my waist area. I think it looks really nice. It's a uh, easy to throw together outfit. And I think this would look actually rather nice um, as kind of like an, um, a throw over cardigan kind of thing. Yeah, I really like this. This is my favorite clothing item that I got from Rose Gal and the velvet is absolutely stunning. It's a, it's a good quality velvet blouse and I'm very, very happy that I ended up deciding on this. The next item is this plaid skirt. I've been trying to find particularly a plaid skirt that is um, a green and blue kind of color scheme, like really dark green and blues, but they had one and it was only in the size extra small and I couldn't, um, because they are Asian sizes, I can't do that. Oh, um, I also got this in a size medium. Um, this is the size medium as well. It is a little bit big to be worn as a waist skirt for me, but, um, you know, I, the size charts, I was on the cusp of small and medium, so I went with the larger one just to be safe. Um, so I may sew up about half an inch on either side just to be able to wear it as a waist skirt, as I initially intended to. It's not, um, it's not the thickest of materials, so it's uh, good to wear in Australian summer, but if you're after, you know, the real tartan kind of material, the thick plaid, then I don't recommend this. Uh, this is actually a lot better sewn than I expected, um, especially because of the price. Um, some of the head, some of the hemlines that I've got from um, even well-known established businesses are not overlocked, so they do pull kind of really quickly. Um, but yeah, it's overlocked. It's quite nice. Um, would I get this again? I'm not entirely sure because it's not exactly the color scheme I wanted. However, I do like it and um, I think I can, I think I can style this quite well. The next item I got, I got with the intention to wear in winter, but um, the package, it did take a little while to get here. I'll explain that later. But it is um, just a simple black cardigan and it has these grommet detailings around the neck hole um, and around the bottom the bottom of the sleeves um, so three rows on the sleeves and one on the neck it's nice I will say that it's nice um, I'm not overly happy with the material as I did intend to get this for uh, winter rather but the material is a little bit on the see-through side so I guess I can kind of pull this off um, you know, at the moment it's an overcast day, so it's a bit cooler than it has been lately in Australia. But um, but it's not a piece that I would recommend for winter. Although the quality is there, um, I I like these in theory, but wearing it it gets hooked on a lot of things and it's um, a little bit unpleasant like that. The next item is a vest, and I really like vests at the moment. I've got a few of them. Um, it's kind of like a swallowtail vest and it has gold detailing on it um however i got this in the size medium and it is it is way too big i was actually worried that this wouldn't fit me because on the size chart um i kind of fell at the top end of medium however it is quite large on me and i do have to sew in the sides a little bit just to make it a bit more form fitting um it's very loose at the moment so in the clip that i cut to um i must remember not to sew it up so i can show you what i mean but yeah um i really like the swallowtail detailing and um the fact that this looks quite nice over some maxi skirts or um uh, waist skirts rather because I do wear a lot of high-waisted items um, so yeah I, I really do like that it's not made of the material that I would have expected though I was expecting probably a heavy cotton however it's made of more of a taffeta kind of material I do like taffeta but for vests n not so much I, I prefer cottons and velvets for vests um, just because it's uh, easier to remove stains and stuff because for some reason every time I eat food food gravitates to either you know around my lips or to my chest area 
the last item I got, I got simply because it reminded me of Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it is this dress. It's very um, 1950s re retro. I really like the half-length sleeve. It's something you don't really see very often in alternative fashion. I really appreciate that. I like obscure sleeves, as you can kind of tell from these ones. I also really like the sweetheart neckline and the the completely obscure and different neckline um, on the collar. It is completely different. It is something I've never really seen in a dress before, so I really, really like how different this is. The length is a really nice 1950s rockabilly kind of length. I could see this on people who particularly dabble in the gothabilly kind of fashion. I never really have, but I do have fun wearing this dress. It is beautiful. I like putting on a nice chained um, waist belt with this and some torn up stockings. I, I really like styling this and I think it is a very cool, unique piece. And I got this in a size medium. This actually fits quite well. It's a little bit loose on the waist, but is perfect around the bust. So, um, but keep in mind, I do have kind of a smaller waist than um, I really should. I've never waist trained or anything like that, so um, I have a natural smaller waist of about 23 or 22 inches or something like that, um, which usually dictates that I should be an extra small, but then I have a larger bust and larger hips, so, and wide shoulders. So usually I have to go up a couple sizes and then take in the waist. It gets kind of frustrating, but, um, oh well. So my overall thoughts about Rose Gal, will I um, shop with them again? I would say yes, because things are reasonably priced and they do have a large range of things from uh, fashion to beauty stuff, um, accessories, homewares, all kinds of different things. And um, like with the necklaces that I put together into a belt, um, there are things that you can kind of piece together to make things that you want and it still stays within budget constraints. Um, shipping times are a little on the, um, the long side. This all came in three different packages because they send from their warehouse as they pack, you know, based on what they have in stock at that point in time. So. The first package came within three weeks, I think. The second package was uh, a couple of days later, so about three and a half weeks. And the final package was about a month and a half. So I don't recommend buying from them if you want something under a time constraint, but if you're after something, you know, just willy nilly, then um, yeah, I would say give it a shot. Um, also, they do have PayPal facilities, so your money is safe. Um, so with that in mind, also the product descriptions are not exactly the most clear, um, but for the most part everything was pretty much exactly what I expected. So I'd give them probably mm, six and a half out of ten maybe, um, with, you know, deducting with the long shipping times and also the unclear product descriptions. And I say that um, trying to see it from the point of view of someone who is under budget constraints, you know, wants a couple gothy things, um, maybe wants some makeup brushes as they're starting to get into makeup, um, maybe they're trying to make something like I did with the belt, but um, yeah, I, I do recommend it. I do with the makeup brushes, I, as I said, I do have a separate video that I filmed um, doing a first impressions because this was my first time ever using um, no-name brand brushes. When I was a young makeup artist, um, an amateur, just getting into the industry, I, um, I was very disillusioned into thinking that makeup artists could only have name brand brushes. So um, I ended up spending a lot of unnecessary money because, um, as you'll see in the video, I thought these were actually quite darn good. Uh, with Rose Gal, do be careful if you are vegan and you, or you just don't use animal hair brushes. Um, there are some animal hair brushes. Just read the description about what the hair is made of. 
So all of these are either synthetic bristle or nylon bristle. So they're all cruelty free and vegan and all that stuff. So um, you've really got to like scroll down and read about it though. So thank you for watching this video and thank you for sitting down and watching this haul and you know, watching me get back into the swing of things and feeling a little bit on the awkward side than usual. I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'd love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you liked the haul, comment down below if there's something you'd like to see on this channel. Also, if you've had any experiences with Rose Gal, then let me know in the comments down below, and I hope you all have a fantabulous day.